Hi, so just wanted to show you a really cool feature with the South Source indicators. So this is a regular stock standard opportunity page and I have a few uh, South Source indicators set up already. I have the opportunity is open. I have the opportunity value is between 1,000 and 5,000 and I have this as an existing client. And if I ch change that to a, um, a new customer, the icon would change to an icon for a new a new customer. If I close the opportunity, the opportunity icon would cl would close there. And I've got um, a, a one icon. So this is if the opportunity is open, and this is if the opportunity is as one. I've got different icons for different value. If the opportunity is value is low, I've got a blue star and I've got a gold star. If the opportunity is um, greater than five thousand. And if I've got the opportunities in negotiation at Marcus current stage, I've got it that it's out, it's ready for signing. So just as a quick visual indicator to say, hey, yeah, this is, you know, this is almost uh, over the line. But this is a company that sells toys. And I've got an order here for um, three different types of toys. And we've got dolls, mobile and Pokemon. So wouldn't, wouldn't it be great if we could have icons for each one of those products? So here's what I prepared earlier. If I'm just right show in here, my icons bundle icon bundle pops up with some pretty cool looking icons. And now these icons are from a, um, a company called Icons 8. And I've got the attribution there because uh, it's I'm just using their free icons. If you're using icons from a commercial icon site in your own org, we recommend that you pay for them, of course. So, it, it, so this is just a really cool way of showing uh, the the doll, the Pokemon, and the mobile um, on on the page quickly. So it helps you visualize what which products are on the opportunity. Now, for three products, you can just see them on the page. You can see it's pretty easy, but what if you had m m more products than that? So let's go to another opportunity, and here's my Toys Mega Bundle, and here here's te 10 products. Now, because there's 10 products here, I actually probably wouldn't put my products list view at the top of the page. I probably would put it on, on, a, on a related tab. So therefore, um, my page layout uh, maybe wouldn't have my all of my products there, but then I'd have all of my products listed here. So uh, I've got the train, the bear, the plushie, the Lego, the car, the doll, the uh, toys, and yeah, uh, and of course the Pokemon. And then the next thing is, as soon as that opportunity is closed, I'll select close one, for all of your opportunities that have closed one, if you've got products on them, you could also have those icons um, displayed on the account page, which which are the products that this account owns. That's a, just a really, really helpful one, especially if you've got multiple opportunities over multiple years uh, to be able to say, um, and see at a glance which, which products this company owns. Now, in your org, this might be uh, based on contracts not not just close one opportunities it might be based on ship products have been shipped there's all sorts of nuances to this but this is just showing you how the icons can look so of course you can have any icons you could have um, images if you've got high quality images that would display nicely at the, at that size um, then you can have images of the products um, what you can do with these icons is you know quite unlimited up to your imagination so how did I make this? So it is just as easy as creating a sales source indicators indicator bundle. And I'll go to the opportunity products bundle. I've got one bundle for opportunity products. It's got one indicator on it. And this indicator has multiple indicator extensions. And this is using our new feature, display multiple. So here is our indicator opportunity product icons for the object for the field of product codes. I'll show you how I've got product codes there in a second. And I've got the hover text is the icons for all products in the opportunity and use icon only. And then I've created an extension for each one of the products. Okay, so each one of them here, opportunity product doll, um, 
so it's on the indicator opportunity item of opportunity product icons it has a priority of 10 i go 10 20 30 40. um it can where where it is where the opportunity product codes contains text doll i've got the hover text of dolls and i've got the icon that comes directly from the icons 8 site and again if you are using uh, icons in your org we do recommend that you download the icons as uh, svg files and then upload them to your org but as a quick simple proof of concept no issue to just link directly to the icons they're they're from a cdn so they should be pretty stable but it's just in case it does slow your org down or doesn't render sometimes it's better to have that in in your own salesforce org so we'll go back to the indicator icon, opportunity product icon, uh, icon. So I've got every single product. And this is product code. Normally, one extension would be shown based on one field having the contains text of Lego. But this display multiple, uh, our field is going to contain any or all of those uh, those values. So let's have a look at our field. I've added the field to the opportunity to the opportunity now. And it's called product codes. It's a custom field, and it's just got doll, semicolon, mobile, semicolon, Pokemon. So therefore, this feature you can use with multi-select pick lists also. That multi-select pick list field as the field that it is um, in this indicator item, and have extensions for all of the values in your multi-select pick list field. So it's actually really, really cool. But how did I get these product codes here from the products on my on my opportunities products? And we'll go just go to our toys mega bundle and make sure that's all there. So we've got all of our all of our toys listed there on that product. So how did I get that? And that is via the declarative lookup roll-up summaries app. And here I've got product codes to opportunity, and I'm taking the opportunity line item rolling it up to the opportunity i'm taking the product code field on the opportunity on the opportunity line item and doing the aggregation of concatenate distinct and sticking that in product codes and the concatenate delimiter is a semicolon and a, a blank space and i've got that running in real time mode so as soon as i add another uh, go back to my other opportunity i wanted to add it to my product add it there plushy uh, next, I'm going to add 200 of those. And now we've got a plushie and our um, opportunity value has gone over the $5,000 mark. So our um, icon has gone yellow and we'll go, we'll go and mark this stage as this opportunity is closed one. And we should see on our account name that we do have the plushie on our account name also. So that's it. That's how to great create some pretty little icons on your opportunities, on your accounts, uh, anywhere. This is so flexible. You can use it anywhere. You can use it with any type of field. It's just showing the uh, icons based on any text in the field. It contains it will say contains Pokemon, contains plush, contains mobile. I actually use this for a client. On the products, we've got their product code and I've got an icon for each one of their product codes. Uh, there, once the opportunity is closed one, we create a contract record on the contract and that contract is activated or the products show there. That contract lasts for a year and during that time that, that contract is active on the account those products show on the account also and uh, and again i did get those icons from uh, a tool to, uh, from a site like icons 8 and they are icons that actually closely represent their products uh, so it's really really helpful for just for them to just see at a glance uh, this colored icon that stands out to say hey i know i know at a glance when i'm talking to them on the phone uh, i know at a glance i've got that product so i can talk to them about that product especially like if i'm looking through opportunities and i'm looking in the um 
uh, split view. I love using split view. And this, uh, the uh, indicators are great here because you can just see as you're going through split view, you can just see uh, at a glance what this opportunity is all about. Okay, so I hope that helps and I hope that will um, give you some great ideas as to how you can use Salesforce indicators in your Salesforce org.